Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part two of the Lincoln Classic Car Rally down here at the Lincoln Castle a very wet Lincoln Castle may I add as unfortunately yes it's raining and the forecast is for torrential rain and thunder and lightning it's 10 o'clock the gates have opened Good morning. So here we are in the grounds of Lincoln Castle. Now they were expecting some 200 vehicles to turn up at this event, but thanks to the weather now there's possibly 90, maybe 100 vehicles here. I'm actually surprised there's any vehicles here at all, thanks to this great British weather that we're having today. But uh, still some nice models on display for us to have a look at. Uh, the trouble is with this, I'm, I'm holding an umbrella in one hand and I'm actually using a GoPro today because of the weather. I don't want to get my usual camera wet. Got some nice models on display. Wonderful bond bug there. Orange colour really does stand out, especially when the weather's as bad as it is today. They're quite a rare Joetta, I think it is. It's parked next to this bon bug. How's that for opening the bonnet? The whole thing lifts up. You wouldn't like to be working inside there if it fell down, would you? This Mazda MX-5 has got some very fancy indicators. That is really cool, huh? Very novel they are. Very novel indeed. Lovely old Mercedes there, what you would call a modern classic. Yeah. Just and an original Audi Quattro. You don't see many of those about now. Some really lovely old British sports cars on display. I really am amazed that they bring them out in this weather. But they were made to be driven at the end of the day, so fair play to these owners. Old Volvo P1800 there. That's uh, looking immaculate condition. Love that. Don't see uh, many of these about neither. Not in red. Quite a few white ones around. 
reminiscent of the Saints car, of course. Always get plenty of minis turning up at these shows. And Riley Elf, which of course uh, is a mini, just with a different front and back on. All the same mechanicals, of course. Lovely mascot there on this old rover. Hillman Avenger. Don't see very many of those around anymore at all. Now this is a rarity coming up. Alfa Romeo Montreal, I think it is. Those shades over the lights. Fantastic. Absolutely. So on this side here, these are the club stands, I believe. This is the uh, Alfa Romeo Club. They bought some really lovely cars for us to have a look at. Also uh, on here is the, the Lincolnshire MG Owners Club, uh, the Porsche Club. apologize if I get uh, any rain on the lens I have got my umbrella up hopefully shielding the lens but can't help it sometimes some of these Alfa Romeo is absolutely gorgeous they are Spider there. What a wonderful setting for a classic car show this is in the grounds of Lincoln Castle. So the Porsche Owners Club tucked here in the corner, only a couple of cars. They normally have quite a few cars at this event, but I'm guessing the weather has put some of the owners off. And plenty of Capris here.
<laughs> Maybe if you hadn't polished them, the rain would have stayed away. Who knows, but we do really appreciate it because we know how some of precious all of these cars are and how much work has gone into prepping them to the amazing standards that we've seen here in front of us today. So thank you very much to everybody who's brought their car out to share it with us and the public here at the castle this afternoon. Big thank you to the castle once again for hosting this event. Without them and their work, we wouldn't be able to do this. So big thank you to the castle. Um, in terms of cars, special thanks. We've had some great turnouts from the car clubs today. Um, Alfa Romeo Club, Porsche Owners Club, Pre Owners Club, MG Owners Club, and I'm going to include the Heckington Club in there. <laughs> <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> A uh, big thank you to all the public who've come along to make this event a great success and to all of the helpers and the volunteers from the museum. We're all volunteers down there and if any of people want to come along and help and volunteer with the museum, just talk to one of the people over here and we can find, tell you more about membership and coming along as well as future events. Yes. Okay, we're going to start on the prizes in a moment, but there is just one more big thank you I need to say, and um, we're going to be, I'm going to be joined in doing the prizes by Pam over here to my right, who has basically helped massively with sponsoring the event. She works tirelessly down at the museum, running our catering, keeping, keeping us all supplied with teas, coffees and biscuits, which uh, those of you who work on cars will know are absolutely important to making them go properly. And she has used all some of the money raised by the catering to help sponsor the event today. So she's going to be helping me hand out the prizes. So we're going to go through in date order. So first of all, we have the pre-war cars. And the winner of that one is car number 30, which is John Anderson and the Morris 8. So John Anderson is here and would like to come forward. Thank you very much. post-war cars from 1946 to 1955 and the number of that one is number 157 Brian Dobson from 1956 to 1970 and the winner of that one is car number 31 David Hall with the Volvo P1800 classics from 1971 to 1985. The winner of that one, number 164, which is Tim Cox with the Ford Capri 3 litre. Just a minute, Tim, 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 can we do yeah. a picky? Yeah. Do a picky, please. Yeah. Next category is what we call mid classics, which is from 1986 to 1994, and the winner of that one is number 104, Mr. T. Hagen with the Nissan Figaro. And next up we have the Lake Classics, which is 1995 to 2003. 
And the winner of that one is number 125, David Pepper with the Alpha 156. commercial vehicles. Winner for that one is 66, Ryan Deering with the Bedford CA. By the way, not the Bedford CA behind us. So there you have it, that is it of today's video from a very wet Lincoln castle. So thank you all so very, very much for watching and please everybody out there in YouTube land, stay safe. And I will see you all again soon in the next video. Take care now. <laughs>